Hi, welcome back. This is Sean Chua from A-LevelH2Chemistry.com. Now, uh, we know that electrophilic addition mechanism is very important when it comes to reaction in alkenes. And today, we're going to take a look at a very interesting question uh, with regards to that. All right, let's take a look at the question. So in short, basically, you have an ethene, right, an alkene, symmetrical, reacting with hydrogen bromide, and the question state is in the presence of aqueous sodium nitrate. All right. So essentially, it asks you how many possible products will you get when you do electrophilic addition reaction of ethene in this kind of condition. Okay, so uh, let's look at the question, uh, the molecule. This is ethene. So we all know that HBr, we approach it. Bromine is more electronegative than hydrogen. So uh, this bond will polarize. It will be delta minus, this is delta plus. This hydrogen is slightly electron deficient. So you're kind of becoming an electrophile. So it became an electrophile, all right? And it will attack the pi electrons in the pi bond here, okay? So this will attack, and there will be shifting of this bond pair over here, okay? And this is known as the first step, known as the slow rate determining step. And then you'll get this carbocation intermediate, Okay, let me show you over here. This is a carbocap intermediate. And then uh, your Br minus that's present due to heterolytic fission in step one will attack the electron deficient carbon here. And this will be the second step known as a fast step. And you get your first product, which is here your bromoethane, all right? So you have one product. Now what happened is in this question, it state that it occurs in the presence of aqueous sodium nitrate. You need to appreciate that you learned this long time ago, that sodium nitrate is a soluble salt, and it's aqueous solution, all right? So what happened is that it will dissociate to give you your sodium, and more important, your nitrate I, Ions, all right, your NO3 minus ion, which has uh, a lone pair, at least a lone pair there, and is negatively charged. So it will also have the potential to attack this electron deficient carbon. All right, I'm going to rearrange NO3 minus to become ONO2 minus to show you that the lone pair belongs to the oxygen here. All right, so you're going to have the second product that looks like this. O and O2. So this is your second product. Now, there's a third product. If you realize that it's aqueous, now when it's aqueous, it means what? It means there is water, all right? And water will dissociate partially to give you hydroxide ions. So your OH- minus from water will also attack this electron deficient carbon. And you have the third product. which is your ethanol, all right? So once again, you're going to have one product, two product, and three products. Total, one, two, and three. Very interesting question, and this is commonly tested in examination, all right? So it's good to review this and think of what are the possible questions they can ask you in your chemistry examination. Hope you learned a lot today and uh, feel free to share this with your friends. Alright, uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.